you know, I just can't wait to get on the pitch really and just start working really hard. It's mostly from Seven Elite and playing with FC Liverpool, the first team in the Youth Cup and stuff. It's got me a bit of notice and then went up to Southport and that's progressed a further. I'd recommend it to anyone because what Seven Leads have done for me has been extraordinary really. The experience that they've given me and like the football that they've helped me play, it's been great. The coaching's been brilliant with the training, uh, it's really good. Uh, obviously Ant, Keir and Rob and everyone associated with Seven Elite has really helped me push on. Anytime I need to speak to Ant, he's always there, I can give him a ring, I can give him a text and they've all been in touch and they've wished me well to be fair so it's been really good and I couldn't thank them more. first time I went it was, I think it was the Bethesda Cup, it was like a college showcase that was in uh, Washington. The quality of the football over there is really good and then I went back in the new year and we went to uh, Las Vegas. It's taken in a whole different environment because before that I'd never been to America and seeing it, it's just a whole different experience and I'd recommend it to anyone going to America because you can get so much more when you're playing in the US. Josh's development in the first three, four months of signing up for Seven Elite Academy over a year ago was uh, was really, really pleasing to see. His spark was growing, obviously, for the game again as well. And I think, obviously, with the FA Youth Cup last summer, he knew there was challenges there to kind of be excited, you know, for and to see, obviously, what he's been able to achieve um, and, and the boundaries that he's been able to surpass you know, is an absolute credit to, to Josh and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely delighted for him. Um, however, the real work obviously starts now for Josh and he, and he knows that more than anyone. For someone like Josh and many other players that are dropping back into grassroots and being part of a, you know, a grassroots organisation that obviously wants to kind of build them up again, give them the spark again, give them opportunities again and put them potentially in the shop window again. That's what we do and, and that's where the success has come from. Um, and the message is, you know, don't give up. Carry on obviously, you know, applying yourself, you know, keep yourself active. To someone like obviously Josh, he got himself back in the gym. Uh, obviously, done a lot obviously football fitness in the gym. Uh, again, you know, found himself as that you know attacking, exciting player that he was, uh, and he's, he's 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 managed to put it all together and managed to obviously get the reward. So to all the players out there, you know, never give up. You know, you've got a 17 year old who is being in grassroots and hasn't even been offered the scholarship. It's gone straight to a professional contract. So I hope that that could, you know, inspire, you know, thousands of kids around the country.